You like, know what I, I loved it. I was thinking yesterday when I was watching, um, like, uh, Conor McGregor work out and, like, all the people were surrounded him while he was working out. You know, one of those open workouts. It's real weird. Yeah, it was you know, he's standing time. around hitting the bag. And he's he seems to just be doing his work, doing his normal work, you know, hitting the bag. But there's just this circle of people, like, right there. Like he's like, a lion. Well, it's not only that. Like, he can't even move. No. Like, he can't, like, dance around. He can't back up too much. He's just right in front of that bag, and he's got to pretend those people aren't there as he works his combinations. It's just a show, right? It's just a show to hype the fight more. I guess it is. And I then the boxing purists make fun of him. Yeah, because yeah. of his he, movement. Yeah. They won't make fun of him if he lands the way he did in that clip of Polly. That's what I'm saying. Dude, when he landed that straight left, <clears throat> blam, and snapped Polly's head back, I'm like, hey, Polly, why didn't you talk about that? <laughs> <laughs> he's, been a, he's been on a tear just that's going off. really significant. But if a guy like Conor McGregor does that, that is straight and clean and sneaky. 16 and like, ounces, too. Huh? And a little off speed, like a little off speed in the initial part of the movement, and then he drops it in, bang. That's like snake-like left hand. Like, he's getting super comfortable if he can do that to Pauli Malinacci. Like, whatever you say about those clips, all we know is that that's, that's what we've seen. We've only seen these little short little clips. Like, right here. Watch this left hand. Watch how he sneaks this in. Boom, son. Speed, Dude. son. Timing. <laughs> that Are they ounces hand, on two? That left hand is fucking <clears throat> legit. It's super a, it, legit. Here it is again. Watch this. Boom, Bam. dude! That is down the pipe. Call it what you want. I mean, Grant, that's the twelfth round, but still, probably two-time world champion. Yeah, I don't know what round that was. I don't care. If, Me neither. If, if, I don't if care. Connor either. can do that with that kind of speed to Pauli Malignaggi and time that like that. That's li look. You can't sleep on him. He's got magic. That's what I'm saying, got, Joe. It doesn't always work. That's it what doesn't I'm saying. always work. It kind of does. Nate Diaz has a little magic too. You know? Different type of magic. Yeah, but that you know, in that fight, Nate Diaz had the magic, and it was just not Connor's night. But the Kane, rematch but, was Connor's night. No, nah, not really. No, I don't think it was. I think the rematch was both of their night. I think if you really want to look at that fight honestly, the second fight, I don't think you see a winner. The only thing that I think you could say makes Connor a winner is that he dropped Nate, but multiple Nate, times. But Nate was saying that he went down with punches anyway because he was hoping Connor would follow him to the ground, which may or may not be true. But it is a good strategy been, if you have a wicked guard. You've been watching the sport way too long it's, he's to got believe a, that. Nate's got a wicked guard. If wicked he really guard. did decide like, to get, like when he gets clipped, just to go down with it and to, to try to bring him to the ground. Look, like Fabricio does that. Fabricio Verdun absolutely does that. He'll, he doesn't do drop. it by getting dropped in the face with a left hand. Well, it was a very good shot, no doubt about it. But the idea is if you get hit with a good shot, you can decide to go bait down. Him in. You can decide to bait him in. Three I times think, in a row? I think you have to take it into consideration as a possibility. Maybe once, three might, in a row. Might be every time he would try it. We've and never seen him do it could before. Try it. You're right. We never have we, seen him do it. He before. doesn't have these tendencies. The only no, guy who's ever really it. fucked up Nate in a fight is Josh Thompson. Josh Thompson head kicked him, and in every other fight, even when he's gotten beat up, like the Dos Anjos fight, he's got his legs beat up, and Dos Anjos definitely won a decision. Nate didn't get fucked up and stopped. He's never got his ass whooped. Josh is the only one who stopped him. Yeah, but he still never got it like his ass. Never got whooped. his ass whooped. Well, but you know what? You could say the Dos Anjos fight was kind of a beating. The Dos Anjos is kicking the shit out of his but leg. But he's still coming forward, yeah, like still that. Hundred percent. He's never been broke. You can right. say that. He's that never, they've never broke his will. Hundred percent. Even in the Thompson fight, if they let it go, he probably would have recovered eventually if he didn't go unconscious. Correct. See, I think if the the real test of who's better, Conor McGregor or Nate Diaz, is if they fight at fifty five in the trilogy fight because seven. Mm. It's a toss-up. You know, Nate won one, Connor won one. That's whatever. They, they're both not fine at 70. If they mm. go to 55, you have your true, I think, winner there. Well, you know what? I mean, I like Nate at 55 Me too. better anyway. Me like way he, better. When he gets real lean, like in the Michael Johnson fight, come Best on. Best he's ever looked. Dude. Destroyed Johnson. Shredded at the way in. My man was jacked. Yes. Just jack, 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 jack. I'm assuming that's what he's waiting for because they've offered him fights, right? But yeah, he's just waiting for that big Connor payday. I think him and his brother are smart. You know, they they're huge cultural icons. They can go places and get paid, and um, they're still in the mix for for you know whatever weight class, whether well, it's fifty five or not. seventy. Nick's sure, not. he is if he wants to be. No, he's suspended for a long, very long yeah, time. He's got to pay. He's just got to pay. Does it's he? Not, yeah, it's not a suspension you, anymore. Really? It's, yeah, they yeah. Took it what off? it is is uh, he owes them a hundred thousand dollars, and he won't give it. <laughs> 
so so gangster. Well, but they you, you can like one sixty five. I think he gave him like sixty five. You can argue that though. Like remember with Connor, like listen, you're suspended. You're mm-hmm. not fighting. You got to shoot a commercial for us. Remember that they asked yeah. him to shoot a bullying commercial. Yeah. And pay us one hundred seventy five thousand. Connor went cool. Just not fighting Vegas. They went. Yeah. All right, no, no money. Uh, just a fifteen second tweet, and then we'll we'll let you fight here. Well, you got to realize when a guy's throwing a monster energy drink and he, they're throwing water bottles. This is I don't like to say this, but this is true. There's a big part of what's going on there that is theatrics. That's no different than pro wrestling. It's called selling a fight. It's called selling a fight. And that's what they're doing. They're throwing shit at each other, selling a fight. Do you think he's really trying to incite a riot? Like you know. Occasionally, yes. Like the DC John Jones thing, that was legit. Different animal. Denim, and how much animal. did that sell the fight? Like Ooh. the UFC was like, uh, let's just keep that in They uh, kept loop. playing it over and Non-stop. over. Nonstop. <laughs> and then they're like, we we do not approve of this. This is ridiculous. Show it one more time. Show it again. Uh, one more time. I love that, though. Best yeah. clip 